I'm going to try my hand at modeling this very simple lighter. And um, as you can see, it is very simple. And it will just use some very simple techniques, which are the simple ones that I know how to do. Because as I've said pretty much all along, um, the videos that I make are for beginners, uh, by beginners like me. And so, you know, the use of the tools and techniques um, may have some errors, um, may not always be the most appropriate way of doing things, but um, we just do what we can with whatever knowledge we have. And um, if this helps somebody, great. Or if it's entertaining to watch, great. Um, and that's that's about it. We're just doing this for fun and make a make a cool little lighter. And um, as we go along, we'll do um, some extrusions, some beveling, possibly a couple of different types of beveling, um, using inset, um, uh, booleans, um, that kind of thing. So it's it's very straightforward, and uh, we'll make this cool cool lighter. All right, so here I am in, in Blender, and um, I've just switched to Cycles Render so that I can have GPU uh, compute on, uh, which might make it a little bit quicker. Uh, although it's a very simple, uh, low, relatively low poly um, object. Anyhow, I'm gonna start in top ortho view with my screencast keys on, and I will do this. Um, I'll probably use a plane. So I'm gonna go Shift A and add a plane. I'm gonna scale this to the approximate size that I want my lighter. So I'm gonna scale it along this red arrow, which is the X axis. So I'm gonna go SX and I'm gonna bring it out, you know, something like that. So that would be like the base of my, of my lighter. It's gonna be big, <laughs> but we'll just do this. So now I wanna extrude it up in the Z direction. So I'm going to go into edit mode and it's selected. I could change to face view if I want. Okay, deselect it there, make sure I've selected that face. And I'm gonna go E to extrude, accept. And I'm just gonna pull this arrow up. So I get something like, like that. You know, and that could be my, the main body of my lighter. So go back to object mode and just have a look at that. I think right away I'm gonna to switch to a different shade, different color that I, I like to work in. So I'm gonna hit N to open the side panel here. I'm going to scroll down to where it says matte cap. I'm going to click on that. I'm also going to click on ambient occlusion. That will give some shadows. And I'm going to choose this sort of this default. You know what? Maybe I'll go for this one. Is that bright enough? Nah. You know what? It's a little bit easier to model in this one. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to hit end to close that side panel. So there's my uh, basic shape of my lighter so far. I might also want to get rid of this grid floor, so I'm going to hit N again, and I'm going to come up to where it says display, and I click that arrow, and I'm going to choose grid floor and turn that off, and to close that, so it's a little cleaner to work in. All right, um, those dimensions look okay, I guess, and so the first thing that I'm going to want to do is I want to round these edges off so that it looks more natural. So um, first of all, I will set the origin of this right back to the middle, it's easier to work with. Okay, so I'm going to set origin. Uh, um, what did I just origin to geometry to the middle of the geometry, and then it just turns a bit better. And if I want to do any, you know, tools or techniques, uh, it works better that way. Whatever that makes sense. Um, I'm also going to go object apply scale because I scaled it, um, and it's it's going to work better with my beveling. Okay, so. I set the origin to geometry and I chose object, apply, scale. And if ever anything isn't beveling right for you or extruding right for you, try that. You may have to do that. Sometimes another thing you'll have to do is go into edit mode and hit A to select everything and go control N, which um, makes all the normals uh, consistent. Okay, you can find that in there. Normals, recalculate uh, outside. Most likely you want them outside. I didn't seem to have to do that with this simple object. So, all right, so it's time to bevel. I'm gonna bevel all these edges. So let's do that. I'm gonna choose, I'm, going, I'm doing a control um, tab, I guess, is that what I'm doing? Control tab to bring that, yeah, I can see it right there. Control tab to bring that menu up. I'm gonna choose edge 
and I'm going to select that edge and this edge and this edge and that other edge and select them all shift select then I'm going to bevel these so I hit control B control B and I get that dotted line and I'm now going to pull my mouse away from the, the point that you see in the middle there I'm pulling it away till I like that amount of you know curvature but to actually put in the curve I'm going to roll my mouse up one there you can see a segment was put in two three you know that's probably enough I could go for four I don't care so I'm going to do that roll so I'm rolling my mouse up and down to put those in so there's one two three four I'm going to press the um, left mouse button to accept that and I'll hit A to deselect and come back to object mode and just have a look you can see that it's nicely nicely rounded all right now this is the bottom of my lighter and this is the top and I want to do something with the bottom as well I want to make this a little bit uh, different the, the bottom so I want to put a segment in I don't know if I can yes I can so what I'm doing there uh, I want to put a segment in here by hitting control R an edge loop I can accept that by clicking the left mouse button and I can continue to move it um, if I hit escape or accept it's 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 done and if I deselect it's put the line in there now I can always reselect that shift alt and select and it selects the whole thing as opposed to just clicking on it it will just get that part so if I go shift alt select it does the whole whole line the whole edge and I can now use the Z arrow to move it down I want it quite far near the bottom now can I zoom in with the period key a little bit closer okay so I want it just right about there and I'm going to hit A to deselect so I now have uh, separated these polys if I go back to control uh, tab and I check select face you can see that's a different face than this it's cut all the way around now I want to select all of these polys all these faces all the way around so I'm going to go shift alt and click and that gets the whole row of them and what is it I want to do uh, I guess I'll grab that one as well all right so I'll get all of them and I'm gonna hit E to extrude and I want to bring them in just a small amount okay so the, the lighter will come down and go in just a little little bit but I don't want it to go smaller in the Z direction I just want X and Y bring it in smaller so I'm gonna go scale hit the S shift and Z will prevent it from scaling in the Z direction so I did scale S shift and Z and if I just move my mouse in a little little bit you can see it comes in like this or out I want it to go in now if you want it to move in smaller increments you can hold the shift button afterwards it just comes in a bit so let's say I do that let's have a look at that let's see I've created a little lip there that's all I want to do I'm going to deselect to come out and look at that and you can see it doesn't look that great and maybe I could have come in a bit more but instead what I'll do is I'll go back into the object and to make this a little bit more visible I'm gonna go control tab and choose edge and this edge that's the top edge there should be two edges in there uh, well you can see it but you know the, the this edge the top here I'll go shift all that edge and the new edge which is part of this lower section now I could use either of them but I'm just going to try with the top edge let's come out a little bit and what I want to do is I want to bevel this create a little bit of a curve so control B pull on my mouse don't go like that well you could if you wanted to but I don't want to just like something like this put maybe one segment roll my mouse up one let's try that click the left mouse and button to accept A to deselect and come out and see see there's a little bit of a curve there and if I come out it just makes it a bit more visible it's not all that visible I um, I don't want this sharp edge at the very bottom either though so I'm gonna go into the object again and I'm gonna go shift alt and select that bottom edge which will essentially select the, the whole face as well that's fine and I'm gonna bevel that so control B pull back I'll give it a bit of a bigger bevel I'm gonna put two segments deselect and now that edge is rounded a little bit okay now that, that's just a you know a bit of a design element for the bottom of the lighter obviously this is very basic stuff all right so but whatever um, this is not I'm not too impressed with this but uh, what the hell 
Um, now. I am going to bevel this top edge as well before we continue working on the upper part of the lighter. So back into object mode, edge mode, shift alt and select that whole thing. It'll get the, the top poly as well. We're going to bevel this. I'll do a bit of a bigger bevel. Let's something like that. One, two segments is probably fine. I'm going to come out and have a look at it. All right. Now you could hit smoothing if you wanted to just make it like that, but I don't, I don't need that right now. So this is what I've got so far. Now by beveling it as well, I also have, um, I can select this interface. Okay, and it's kind of, instead of going all the way out to this outer line, I can just get that one. Now I want to start creating the top of, of the lighter, but I don't want it quite that big. So I'm going to hit I to inset. And when I pull my mouse, inwards towards the middle, it's going to create this kind of effect. Okay, I've created another row of polys all around and it's a little further in than it was. And that's what I, I want. All right, so I inset. So if I come back out, you know, let's see where I was. I was there. Okay. Uh, face select. Okay. It was there, I think. I don't think I've inset. Oh, have I already inset? Let me come out a bit. Let's go back to, to the bevel. Okay, let's bevel that again. Now, wait, before I do that, actually, notice how my line is out right at the edge. All right, if I hit bevel and I do that, see the way the inner line is coming closer into the, into the middle of the liner. Now, I don't want to bevel it that much. So just again, a, a couple, two or three, that's fine. So this line is now moved inwards a little bit. It was at the extreme. Well, it wasn't there. It was a, about the middle of that. Okay, but I still want uh, I still want oh, face select mode. I still want that inwards a bit. So that's why I hit I to inset, and it already puts it in a bit. I'm going to bring it into about there. Okay, now I want to move this upwards, but I can't just grab it and do that. Well, I could if I want to make some kind of weird building, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to hit E to extrude and Z to bring it up. I'm just making another little stage, another little level, like maybe maybe there. All right, now, obviously you should be doing this with references, but I'm not, I'm just doing it. But that's the kind of thing, I'm making this area here. Okay, now I don't want a sharp edge on this, so I'm gonna bevel this right away. So I'm gonna go Control B, pull back, add maybe two segments by rolling my mouse, and stop and check my work. And this is what I have so far. Cool. All right, now, there's something I maybe could have done before I did this, and that was, this is the main body of the lighter. I could have made the lid. So we're gonna make the lid, and I want it to be the same, pretty much the same uh, dimensions as this, or same width, diameter, circumference, I don't know. So the best way to do this, I think, is to come in and grab the widest edge because this, this this bottom edge here so yeah, let me select that is the width of the body if I select this edge and make a cover out of this and essentially by extend, ex, extruding up it doesn't fit the exact dimensions you know this is the widest edge so let me show you what I'm, what I'm talking about what I would do is I would select that because it's already got the right dimensions that I want and this is part of the body. I'm going to copy this edge. So I'm going to go Shift D, except to copy it. But I'm inside this object. I'm editing the main body. I want to copy this and take it out of the main body and use it to make the, the top. So I'm going to go P to separate this. See the, see the menu says separate? Separate it by the selection. I'm so I've selected it. P, then just enter. Now, it disappears for a second. If I go out of this object, okay, because you select everything, I can select my main body, or I can select that edge. Now, the transform tool is way down here, so I like to go set origin to geometry, and it'll come right back to the sort of center of this edge. So if I pull this, all right, this is what I've done. So this edge that I've made, a new it's a new object, essentially, is the same width, exactly the same width as the body. So I can use this to make the lid. So what I'll do is I'll go into it. So I've selected it. There it's unselected. 
There it's selected. Tab into it, edit mode. Hit A to select. It's just a line right now. But if I hit F, it will fill it with a poly. Just like a plane. So I'm now ready to go. So I'm going to hit E to extrude. And I'm going to hit grab the Z arrow. And I'm going to come up. Just like that. So I'm making the lid. Now, I'm not sure if all my polys are facing outside. I think they are. But I'm going to hit A to select it all. Or I deselect it. A to select it all. And look at the colors here as I do Control N and see if they change at all. They did change. That means that not all of my my polys, I just went out of that, were consistent. Now they are. So I always do that. Or periodically I'll do that. So this is going to be the lid. Um, maybe it needs to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to select this upper poly and make it, you know, something like that. Let's see if that looks... So I look like a lighter, the top of a lighter. Yeah, it sort of does to me, but it's too too boxy, too square. So I'm going to round the top off a bit. So let's go back in edit mode, edge selection, select that upper edge and poly, and let's bevel this, control B, pull back, give it two segments, let's say, like that. I'm going to do something similar to the bottom in a, in a moment. Let's just have a look at that. It's starting to look like the top of a, of a lighter, isn't it? Now we're gonna have to carve this out, of course. So I'm gonna hide this and select all this and press H to hide it. Alt H to bring it back, H to hide it. So I can just look at this head. I'm not gonna move it anywhere though. I'm gonna have to carve this out and I also wanna put some kind of a lip on this. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the carving part first. So let's go into edit mode. Let's go into face select mode, control tab and choose face, select that. And to make it smaller and then extrude it up, I'm gonna hit use the inset uh, command or key. I to inset, pull my mouse in just a little bit. That's good enough. Now I'm gonna go to a side view. I'm gonna hit one, okay, front view. Doesn't matter if I go to one or three. There, there's a side view. So. Okay, I want to see inside, so I'm going to hit Z for wireframe and choose wireframe. And I'm going to pull this up, but I need to extrude first. So I'm going to hit E to extrude, accept, and I'm going to bring this up to there. That's good enough. I'm going to deselect, come out of wireframe, back to solid mode, and back into object mode and have a look. Okay, I'm going to go Alt H to bring everything back. And there's the top of my lighter as if it would fit right down on there and it's got a hole for any pieces that will extend up into it. But I don't like these sharp, ed sharp edges and I said I want to make a lip. So I'll hide that again. I'll come back into the top and I'm going to add an edge loop. Control R, click and drag down to about maybe there. Okay, deselect. And in face select mode, I'm going to go Shift Alt and select that whole edge right there. That's the only part I need. I'm gonna extrude it outwards. So it goes over, sort of over the body. All right, so to do that, I don't want to extrude upwards or downwards. I just want it out that way and out that way. So I'm gonna go um, E to extrude and accept. And now scale, shift Z, not in the Z. And you can see the, the, the lines there showing me which ways I'm gonna be able to do it. So I'm just gonna Pull outwards on my mouse a little bit, not too much. Now it may go out further in one um, axis than the other. So I'm gonna hit seven to look down on the top. And I can see that it's pulled it out further in the X this way and this way than in the Y. So I'm gonna even that out by I, um, going scale in the Y, which is the green, or you know, and, and oh, find the right orientation and try to match. I'll hold down the shift key so it moves in smaller increments. And that looks roughly equal, the scaling in the X and the scaling in the Y, maybe a little bit less. So I'll do it a little bit more scaling in the Y, pulling outwards a little, little bit. There, that's all I'm gonna worry about, okay? It's no one's gonna know, see any great difference. So now it looks a little bit more, you know, cooler than, than it did, but all these edges need to be beveled. All right, and I'll do it by hand. I'll, I mean, you could use the bevel modifier, but I'm, I'm used to this way. So I'm gonna choose this edge. 
I want that rounded and this bottom edge make that rounded okay those are the most obvious edges this is already rounded so I'm just gonna zoom in so I can see it go control B to bevel pull out till I start getting that and roll my mouse up twice there there's my lip okay alt H to bring everything back and have a look at it okay all right nice so far so good now um, this is roughly based on the Zippo lighter but I don't want to make all the parts of it um, I'll make some of them and so I'm gonna make a little hinge at the back that the top could connect to and we'll rotate the, the top back a little bit and so I want to put a cylinder to represent a hinge and I want that cylinder to kind of be attached let me go into edge select mode I want it to be attached around there roughly there so I'm going to select that edge in edge select mode I'm going to go shift s which and and choose cursor to select it my 3d cursor will pop to there so if I choose that edge and I go shift s cursor selected it'll pop there that edge shift s cursor selected and the reason and then I can deselect and go out into object mode and it stays there and the reason I did that is when I bring in a cylinder a new object it'll put it there to start with instead of somewhere down there and I gotta move it so I'm gonna choose a cylinder so I'm gonna go shift a mesh cylinder just leave it as default all that stuff but I don't want it in that orientation I want to rotate it around the X so I'm gonna go rotate X 90 so it's gonna lay like that and then I'm just gonna sc start scaling it down see the way it's it's positioned at that spot which may not be exactly where I want it but it's it's close I'm gonna scale it in the Y now and pull it out okay and then I'm going to well, I could use one or or three whatever uh, I think one was better actually no I like this just, <laughs> just like this now um, that's a little bit still thick for me but I do like the length of it so I don't want to scale it in the Y direction I want to leave that but I want to scale it in the Z and X to make it smaller overall but not shorter so I'm gonna go scale shift and this is a stretch Y and you see see the X line in red and the Z line in blue that means it's gonna scale it in that direction so I'm gonna pull in because I want it smaller something like that and then I'm gonna move it up a little bit and actually out a little bit I think let's have a look at this yeah somewhere like that okay and of course the top I can move that down just to show you would be attached as well to that but we're gonna rotate that back in fact I think I'm going to do that now so um, we could rotate it in different ways but one I think what I'll do is I will choose that edge there of the top and I'll go shift s cursor to selected I'll come out so my 3d cursor is there and I'll go down to here and I'll say the pivot point is the 3d cursor so when I rotate I'll rotate around that pivot point let's make it easier to do so I'm gonna rotate around the Y right there's the Y I want it to go like this and it'll rotate Y and I'm just gonna move it like this I don't know how extreme I don't want it that extreme rotate Y I'm gonna want it down like this kind of I think and then just remember to turn the, put this back on medium median point which was the original thing um, I think I'm gonna grab this and move it so it's kind of like in the middle or so good good enough I don't know exactly where it should be but now that doesn't look much like a hinge uh, yet. By the way, we should be saving this. So uh, lighter, new, it's a new lighter, I guess, video. Okay, I normally would have saved a lot earlier than that. Doesn't matter. Um, just a couple of things to do on this. Let's edit this. Let's go into face select mode and select the, the both, both edges. And we'll hit I to inset and pull in that's doing both sides at the same time we have them both selected and then I'm going to hit E to extrude that'll create a new face and I'm going to pull it in there and pull it in there so if we scale in the Y it'll scale them in that way depending on which way I, I could 
pull them in and push them out. I want to pull them in, so I'm going to go scale Y only, and I'm going to pull in just a little bit. See, not too much. I'll hold the Shift key to, to constrain it. Let's deselect and have a look at that, just to start making it look like something. Now we can do some beveling as well, but I want to do something else on this. All right, let's put some design elements on this. So uh, let's put some little grooves here and here. So I'm going to go Control R, put an edge loop, two, three, four. I'm going to do four of them, and deselect. Now I'm going to grab this edge. So I'm going to go Shift Alt and get the whole thing. Oops, not that one those two are selected and I'm going to move them further out towards the end so I'm going to use the scale 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 in the Y and I can pull them out to where I want and, and equally so I'm going to pull them out to like around there deselect same with these ones shift or scale in the Y that's just pulling them out to there so deselect now I have the exact width is exactly the same on both sides so face select mode I'm going to grab shift alt those shift all those and I'm going to extrude and I'm going to ex extrude inwards not outwards so I'll show you what I mean E to extrude and I want to indent these but not in the Z direction I want them to go up or down only in the X and the Y so I'm going to go scale shift Z and pull in a, a little bit did I do this wrong what did I do oh it's Y that I want to avoid I'm sorry scale shift Y I want them in and not moving down the thing in the Y direction so not this direction or that direction I just brought them in just a little little bit okay I indented them now all these edges need to be beveled now I could try the bevel um, modifier let's try it I can put two segments I can adjust the width if I want, or maybe that's just going to stick, stick like that. If I smooth this now, I smooth it. You know, I get this kind of effect. Um, that's actually that's that's fine. Um, I'm going to just accept that. Apply, accept that bevel. That's good enough. And I'll do something about this. Looks really weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and edit mode and face select I'm going to grab it and if I hit E it'll flatten it out uh, and we'll come over to the other one as well I mean I could have put probably an edge loop on there it's just just a quick way of flattening it out like that and you may not think it looks very good in fact I don't like it either so I'm not going to do it that way right trial and error see let's come in and let's try control R in can I get one in there all right, maybe I shouldn't have used that. Okay, so let's do this. Let's hide those things and let's select that and hit the period key. No, that didn't help. Well, zoom in on this and have a look at what we've done here. Uh, it's a lot. That beveling put a lot. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna get weird edge loops. Okay, forget it, then that's what I'm gonna be doing. I am going to be selecting the face. I just want to try scaling it. I didn't extrude a scale it. If I do that, does that change? It doesn't look very nice. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do what I did before. Eat extrude. And uh, if I scale it now on the Y, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> sorry about that. Scale and Y pulled in, I may be back. No, that doesn't do that. Uh, brings me back to trouble. So I just did the uh, uh, E extrude, bring everything back. It's such a small detail, it's going to look just fine. Okay, so that could be my, my little hinge there. Yeah, whatever. Smooth just to make might make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, cool. All right, so far so good. Now, 
we need to make. We need to make this top part here. And I'll be the first to admit to you that this is not a perfect method, all right? But it, it it's working to some extent. So I'm gonna make this part, and it's gonna come down like this, and I'll show you how I did it. I really struggled to try and find a way to do this. Um, I'm gonna hide all this. I don't need to hide it. I'm gonna go actually to another layer, layer two. Seven to look down, shift S, cursor to center. Just putting the 3D cursor right in the middle, starting again. All right, this is how I'm gonna do it. Shift A, add a plane. Go into the plane, edit mode, vertex selection, and Alt M to merge the points at the center. All the points are merged, I have just one point there, one vertex. Now, I'm gonna build this by hand. So, I'm, in, I'm looking down, all right, so I'm gonna go E to extrude, and I'll show you what I'm basically doing. I'm gonna come out to, I don't know, maybe here, E to extrude, and I'm gonna come into about there. Now, that's all I've got so far. Now, I could actually do this edge as well, and come to about there. So this length, this, this. Now, what have I done? I'm gonna select it all. all oops. Select all the points, I'm gonna come to a side view, where the heck did they go? That's a side view. I know it doesn't look like anything, but I'm going to go E to extrude, and I'm going to pull them up. Okay. This is what I have so far. Now, you'll see what I'm getting at, I think, soon. I need to remember how I did this. I need to make the rounded part at the front all right so you can see I've, I've i've built this part goes like this this in and then the rounded part i'm doing it from the top aren't i and part way down i think not all the way to the bottom so um hmm. i forget how i did this but i think i'm going to subdivide this w subdivide that'll put another point in there okay I subdivided between these two I've got another vertex now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of those vertices and I'm going to hit E to extrude and I'm going to pull out in the X direction like that okay then I'm going to take this point I think I'm going to do this and I'm going to pull it down a little bit take this I'll pull it out a bit Okay, so this is what I've got so far. Maybe I can bring these down a bit, I don't know. I'm not sure, just trial and error. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna curve this a bit. So I'm gonna choose these two points. And I'm gonna try this. Control B, like you're gonna bevel, just click accept. F6 to bring up this bevel dialog and choose vertex only. And up the segments to, I don't know, three or four and just start pulling. And that will add points to round this. And I'm just gonna go with that, all right? So if you didn't catch that, just rewind. Bevel accept F6 to bring up the dialog box, dialog box and I get this. Now let's come out and have a look at this so far. I think this is gonna be the wrong dimensions. Um, I'm gonna go back to top view, edit, and wireframe because I'm gonna box select this and I wanna get all the points. And I'm gonna move it in a bit. And I think I'm gonna just box select these, move them in a bit. It doesn't matter, I can adjust all this later. Come out in solid view. All right. <laughs> well, I'm gonna thicken this up now. I'm gonna add solidify. And then I'm gonna start pulling the thickness to what I want. And I'm gonna get something like this. Okay, we don't want it too thick. And I'm not gonna apply it yet. I don't need to apply it yet. Okay, 
good enough. I'm going back into the object and I'm going to select this edge and this edge, the vertical edges, because I'm going to bevel. This edge, I'm not going to bevel that edge yet. I'm going to go Control B and I'm going to pull my mouse out and add a few segments. Make this nice and round. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to select. Yeah, I think this is where I have my problem, so I think I'm not doing that. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to deselect this, and I'm going to use the default beveler to start this off. No, I'm not going to do that yet. Actually, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it like that for the moment. I think I'm going to click apply and I'm going to take this and go mirror along the Y. It's going to look weird. White. Go into edit mode, hit A to select. And what I want is this. Roughly this. I'll hit clipping so that the points join. Now let's just come out and have a look at this. Okay, the part that I'm building is this, this piece here. It's on that side, it comes in and it goes round like that, and it's on this on the other side as well. That's another lighter, but I mean you can see the same thing here, right? Comes around, goes in, it comes like that. So that's essentially what I'm building. Let's scale this in the Z. It's gonna be too small anyhow. And uh, that's fine for the mirror because I can adjust this uh, later. Okay, I can adjust all the sizes, but let's go back in and let's even take, let's see if I can merge these faces, dissolve faces. No, it's not gonna let me. All right, doesn't matter. Let's go to the edges, that edge, this edge, this edge, this edge. Let's see if this is going to work for me or not. I may have to use the default beveler. That doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. What did it do up at the top there, though? Why did it do that? Yeah, because I got issues there. They didn't merge or something. doesn't matter because I want to do something with this section anyhow. Mm, son of a bitch. Let's back up out of there and let's let's have a look here. What is going on? Oh, it's because of my mirror. Terrible merging mirroring technique. Let's grab this and delete it. Delete those vertices. <coughs> Take this one and um, yeah, okay. Take these outer ones and make a face. Take these inner ones to where are they? Three was the inner one four make a face. Edge mode, make a face. Is the top closed? Select all control. Oops, control N just to make sure all my polys are right. I don't know. I don't know what the hell happened there. Let's try beveling like that. Two segments. Really what I should be doing is I should go object, apply, scale, and bevel, two segments. Yeah, that's fine. That's great. Okay, I'm gonna hit apply. Okay, cool. Um, let's take this now and bring it back to the first layer and uh, bring it 
into position like that. Now I'm going to have to flip it around and make it bigger. So I'm going to rotate in the Z, rotate Z 180. All right, and we should put origin to geometry, and then it'll behave a lot better. All right, I'm going to hit uh, one to look at a side view or front view, I guess. All right, and I'm going to scale this. You're kidding me, are you? That's considered the middle? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know what's going on here. That's okay. Let's bring this down here. Hmm. Let's make it bigger. Scale it in the Z. And scale it in the X a little bit more. There we go. Just like that. All right. Well... This part here in the front is I'm not super thrilled with. Uh, let's see if there's anything I can do about that. In wireframe mode and vertex selection. I mean, I could always box select this and try pulling it out and seeing how much it, how ugly it looks. It doesn't look too bad. Let's try that. Solid view. That might be better. I want to have a wheel there. Okay. Well, let's go with that for now. Let's actually bring a wheel in. Uh, I'll just select this whole object and go Shift S cursor to select it, and then bring in a. I'll do it with a circle. Rotate X ninety. All right. Make it a bit smaller. Go into edit mode and select it all and hit F to make a face. And then I'm going to extrude out in the Y. Extrude out. It doesn't matter if I make it too big. Now i got weird colors in there, so I'm going to select it all. Click Control N, that'll flip my polys. Okay, let's do Origin to Geometry to put it right in the center. And we'll do that. Let's scale it in the Y now. Make it fit. And I think to scale it overall. And bring it back. And up. Scale it in the Y. You know, this kind of thing, just the manipulation. Scale Shift Y, scale it in every direction but the Y. You know, we get that kind of that kind of thing. So I have that wheel there. Let's do a bit of work on the wheel. Okay, let's go into it and in face select mode, grab that face and this face. We're gonna inset. Pull in just a bit like that. It'll inset both sides. And then hit E to extrude. And then scale it in the Y. And that'll pull it in. Let's pull it in equally on both sides. Okay, something like that. And I'll just create a little indentation there. Barely visible. And let's do something else. Let's go Shift Alt and select all these polys. Now I'm going to make. Um, an extrusion on these, so I'm going to hit I to inset and pull in, and I again, and just adjust my mouse, pull my mouse in and out till I like, you know, the spacing. I want space. I'm going to make like a cog. You'll see what I need. Okay, so I've inset. I've got all those polys selected. Then I'm going to come over to extrude individual, and I am going to not push up. That pulls them in. I'm going to pull down with my mouse just a bit like that till I can see the sides a little bit, all right? But without deselecting, I'm gonna go Control B and pull back just a little bit. And I've already got the segments in there from when I hit F6 a previous time. And if I do F6 right now, uh, sorry, F6 right now, no, not do I gotta go Control B, accept F6. I had this, I just want one segment right now, default, and I know this is seems crazy, so I'm just gonna reset that to zero, and I'm gonna go Control B, now I've reset it. And I'm gonna scroll, I'm gonna just put one, it's the small bevel, deselect and have a look at that. And it's gonna look sort of just bubbly like that, nice, very nice. Okay, so, I've got that now. We're also going to make a bolt that goes through. So 
let's select the cylinder and go shift s cursor selected bring in a cylinder right at that spot but rotate x90 scale it down and scale it in the y so it pokes through and on both sides is it even doesn't look even on both sides is three control three for the other side why is that something doesn't look quite something isn't quite centered <coughs> doesn't really matter I'm gonna scale this again bigger nice big bolt going through that and let's go into it and I select that face and this face and let's bevel this control B pull back Ro and roll your mouse up a few times and we'll sort of round it out it'll look like that I'm going to scale it in the Y back in so it just looks like that okay continue to save all right it's coming along I might make this a bit wider scale it in the Y if that's exactly centered or not Now, let's make some holes in this. Okay, let's go Shift-A, bring in a cylinder, rotate X90, scale it down. Let's bring it over here, poke it through. Let's scale it in the Y so it's long enough to poke through on both sides, maybe a bit more, as much as you want, really. And let's look at this in the side view. Let's scale, but Shift-Y, not in the Y, just just like that and let's position this where we might like it shift D copy it just by I that's fine shift D copy it I'll do three up here I'm gonna copy all these select them all shift D and pull them down I think I'll get rid of this one and I'll take both of these and I'll just move them into the center a little bit right, let's look a little bit more evenly I'll do this and I think I'll take these again Shift D and pull them down, and I'll get this kind of effect. So I'm going to poke all those holes. So I'm going to select all of them and join them together. Control J, one object now. I can origin the geometry or not. And I'm also going to go into them, and they're all selected and go Control N just to make sure all the polys are facing the right, the right way. Let's try doing a Boolean on this. So select this object choose boolean difference and select those as my object you can see these little white lines that means it's created holes apply select them again and h to hide them so we can see look at that all these holes now i sometimes go through and bevel these holes but i'm not going to do that uh, this time alt h to bring all that back and, and just deselect it or delete it okay now um, I kind of think I shouldn't have deleted it the reason being let me hide this and this and let's hide this as well actually yeah okay you hide all that stuff because I might I want to make holes in the front as well so I'm going to go control Z a couple times and bring them back. Now I'm going to hide this stuff and this thing. And I'm going to take these and I'm going to rotate Z90 so they're facing that way. And uh, what way is looking in? That's good enough. That might be the back. What's the front? Okay, three. I'm going to go into edit mode and wireframe because then I can just box select and get rid of like all these X and vertices. Let me keep that and get out of wireframe solid. And I'll do origin of geometry. It's, it's easy to, to deal with. And I'm going to take those shift D, copy them over to there like that. And shift D again. And I think I'll bring it to the middle. I might just do one like that. And you know, and then go into it maybe and get rid of that one in wireframe. Box select, delete those vertices, and 
you know, just, just go with that kind of effect. Um, I don't need them to go through the back though, just the front. So I think I should be, first of all, I'll make them into a group, I'll join them. And then um, I'm gonna, I'll select all these back polys. Is there another one? Yeah, there's another one blocked. Well, I'm just gonna pull these in. It doesn't matter. Uh, I guess I gotta hide this and then I can see, oh boy. I'm gonna hide that too. There it is. Okay, so I'll go into it and I'll just pull it back. It doesn't have to be the same distance. Not a problem at all. As long as I can poke through this part. So let's grab that. Boolean difference. And those guys. Yeah. I'm gonna i I'm gonna delete them right away because I can tell it worked. Alt H to bring everything back. And I now have the holes that I need. Now I think in reality this is cut down there and there's other stuff in the front but we're not going to worry about that let's just make the last couple of pieces to this lighter uh the part when you turn the wheel and it pushes it down so let's make a circle that's the correct orientation it's going to be underneath that thing roughly so let's make it somewhat smaller and bring it down smaller i'll go into it a select, I have to make a face, E to extrude it up a little bit. I'll pull it up. Let's zoom in. Okay. Let's come back down to the ground here. Right to about there. And then I'm going to go back to edit mode. I've already got this part selected. I'm going to hit I to inset. I'm going to pull it in like that. I'm going to go E to extrude. I'm going to pull it up. I think I'm doing that one more time. Just a little bit just like that okay now I've got a lot of sharp edges here so I want to in edge select mode select that edge and that edge and that edge those are the sharp edges control B pull back and put one or two segments in and that's that piece we'll pull it a little bit it's not exactly under so I might want to make that smaller and pull it a bit more under I might even pull this wheel up like this. And maybe actually I'll do that with the bolt. Like that, and then slide this under a little bit more. Okay. Actually, they, they can come down a bit more. To almost contact. Okay, something like that. And one more thing that I will do is I will bring in a cylinder again. That's the orientation I want, scale it down. And I believe these lighters have an actual wick in the middle, and I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm going to push this down in, let's see if I can focus on that. Let's just see how hot, tall that is, how high, how much I'm going into the ground. Okay, I want to view the top and I want to hide that. I want this roughly centered like that. Maybe a bit smaller, but I want to push it down in there. And I'm going to take the body of the lighter and do a Boolean on that. So difference with the cylinder. And that changes things because I've got smoothing on. I'm going to hit apply and hide this for a minute and I'm going to take smoothing off, okay? So I'm going to have that effect. Now I'm going to come into the, this object, deselect, and I'm going to try to grab this edge. So I've selected that part and select the whole thing. So you know, if I do this, you can see the the green or yellow. It's, it hasn't selected this rest of the edge. So I want to select the whole edge, and I'm going to try a bevel. Control B, pull back a little bit, and have a look at it. It looks decent. One, two. So I can sort of round it ever so slightly. Alt H, hide the top again. I want this cylinder, I want to make it smaller, scale it. So it looks like something inside there. I'll scale it in the Z as well. I'm just gonna pull it down and I want to bevel this. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, why not? Let's bevel some of this. So Alt H, <laughs> so like that. B for bevel. Mm, this does not look good. It's not beveling well, so I'm going to go object, 
oops, apply scale. And I'm going to select that edge again. I'm going to bevel again. Yeah, maybe it was fine, but it's going to bevel a little bit. I'm just going to leave it like that. Hold H to bring everything back. That, I, kind of, I don't know. I'm thinking I want to put a hole in this. Inset it like this. E, bring it down. I don't know if that's really what I want. And then bevel this edge. Not that edge. This outer ring. I don't know. It just seems like the fuel would come out of that or something. Or that's where the wick would be. I just feel like I want that effect. Um Yeah. Now we can have a look at this in another matte cap. I'm gonna choose this one and because it sort of looks like a shiny lighter. And um, it looks pretty good. The smoothing's okay on it. Um, yeah. I think we have pretty much done what we set out to do with this. I'm not sure I can get a good angle for a an image either well but you can see it in these ones not that one this one right here okay we've basically done that that's what we've uh, that's what we've created here and just to see the model all right so that's how I would uh, create a very basic a very basic lighter uh, right there and it's moving on there I mean, uh, yeah, actually, there's not too much of a problem with the smoothing, so I guess we can we can leave it at that. Well, there is a bit of problem here actually, so I'll just show you one quick thing. Edit, go to edit mode, face select, select those polys. Hit e, it'll flatten them, it'll reflect differently, but it will get rid of that weirdness that you may or may not have noticed. All right. If you want to go back to rewind the video, you'll see how it was before. And it's okay now. It has polys. It's probably not the way to do it, but it gets rid of the problem. All right, there we go.